So I've been uh, I've been having a code randomly show up on my uh, 335i BMW, and it, the code's a 30FF. Um, I had that same code after I'd fixed that car from its accident, and I find that uh, one of the vacuum canisters was one of the little nipples had broken off of it. And once I put that in, yeah, that was it. It didn't come back for a long time. Um, and then it came back, I went away, came back, went away, by itself, right? Like, it wasn't a hard fault. It was, something was triggering that code. Well, I finally decided to take a look at it um, a couple of days ago. I was, I was actually about four days ago. And I did find it. And it took a bit of doing to find it, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, I'm going to show you what it was. But this, this was not easy to find at all. Uh, I don't think you'd have been able to find this without a smoke machine. Yeah, th I, there's no way. There's no way you'd have been able to find this without a smoke machine. Now, I, I'm gonna, I did hook my smoke machine up to my truck just so that I can show you uh, what part had failed uh, on that BMW. And it's such a minute failure. I, I, you'll see why the code was coming on and off by itself here in a second. Um, I didn't have any performance loss really. I mean, there was no real issue with the car. Uh, I just kept throwing that code randomly. Well, let me let me show you what it was. So this is the um, the other vacuum canister off my 335i. I did have to replace one of these because it it had gotten broken in the accident, and that that fixed the code I had. I don't know, two months ago, whenever I did that, and then randomly that code would just appear, and and. It would just disappear, just as random. But it wasn't, you know, every once in a while it would show up and I would always think, I, I should look into that, right? Well, I finally spent like an hour, a couple of days ago, about four days ago, um, trying to figure out what was going on. Um, there's no way you'd have been able to find this without a smoke machine, and I'm gonna show you why. Uh, I have an OTC uh, smoke machine. They, they, call it, they call it the Leak Tamer. It's, it's a really good machine, very expensive. I mean, you're looking at about 800, I can't remember, 800, 800 and something dollars for that. Uh, it's an invaluable tool, but there's definitely cheaper alternatives if you don't need, you know, such a powerful smoke machine. Um, so I'm going to show you what happened to this thing. And, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you, first of all, what's wrong with it. And then I'm going to show you the, the flow gauge on that, on that smoke machine. And this is how I find it, right? So um, this, is the, this is the upper piece right so when this sits on the car this is the one that's on the oh is it the left the left so as you're looking into the car this would be on the left hand side the, the the hose that goes on the top of it it has kind of a tight band on it and then it hooks into the, the expansion tank and when I was looking at that I, I saw the hose was kind of leaning back a little bit but I didn't think too much of it I just thought it was rubber hose right no, no big deal well, what, what has actually happened to this? And this is probably going to be hard to get on the camera, but that, that nipple has cracked, and it, it's got a tiny little bit. Let me see if I can, let's see if I can get that to work. So if you pull it back, I don't want to break it, right? Because this is the way it came off the car. Um, but if you pull that back, there's a tiny little crack in it. And, and it, it is a tiny, tiny crack. And when it's sitting forward, it holds vacuum. When you pull it back, it doesn't. Uh, but it's a super slow leak, which I think is why the code was coming on and off randomly, yeah, kind of by itself there. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to zoom you guys in to the flow gauge on that smoke machine. I'm going to turn it on, you know, and fill this full of smoke. And then I'm going to see if, oh, well, I'm going to pull this back and let you watch the flow gauge. And you, it's such a small leak, you can barely even see any smoke coming out of it. And that, that's how I find it. I, the, I saw the gauge was, was leaking away. Uh, and then I'd pull the pipe back and the gauge would, it would reseal. Uh, that's actually how I ended up finding it. Uh, the, the other thing I did, which I won't show because I, I have no way of doing it, the, the fluid I have in my smoke machine also puts a dye, um, like a, a tra translucent dye. And if you put a pair of yellow glasses on, it shows up as a green, like a green dot. So if you have those yellow glasses on and you look into this corner, it, it's glowing bright green. And that's, that's just the chemical that's in the, the fluid there. So that's another way you can... You know, if it's a super slow leak, that's another thing you can do to find it, right? So, so let me show you guys this gauge real quick. Um, so let me try and zoom you guys in, right? There we go. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm going to turn on my smoke machine. Uh, where's my... 
so you'll see it'll start it'll start firing smoke out here so hopefully you guys can see that so there you go we're smoking nigh holy crap uh, so what I'll do let's go ahead and plug this back in here okay so if you look at this this dial you see how it's dancing around a little bit so what it's doing is it's it's pressurizing this canister and it's completely sealed at this point so that that little ball and I'll show you guys that again in case you missed it so it just shot up to the top I'm gonna plug it in and, and you can see what it's doing there is it's coming down coming down coming down and it'll eventually completely seal okay so we're completely sealed at that point all right no big deal let me zoom you guys back out or at least zoom you into this so what I'm gonna do whoa sorry so what I'm gonna do is very gently uh, just push back on this pipe just to mimic what was happening in the car right uh, so if you're gonna see any smoke it's gonna come right from here right but really what watch the gauge the gauge is what what triggered me to to find this is my problem so can you see that gauge it, how it just went up there so what what that tells you is that this is leaking right and here I'll pull it forward again and you just give it a second there it goes completely sealed and then pull it back I don't know if you can see I don't know if you guys can see any smoke coming out of there I mean it is it is coming out but it's hard to see right so that, that's how uh, that's how I find that I was just using the smoke machine in that whole system and and then I just touched this like like that and it started it started dancing the little ball started dancing which is a, this is this is considered a small leak right and and that's what it was it was this little this little nipple here yeah th this thing although it looked perfect I couldn't really see anything wrong with it you know that's that was our issue and I, I don't know if you can see that little green that's that dye in that fluid I don't know if it's if it, that's gonna come through or not right in that right in the corner there um, but yeah so if I push it back you can see our gauge I don't know if you guys can see that or not whoops sorry my hands in my you look at that ball see how it's dancing around we're leaking we're leaking at that point pull it forward there you go fixed so I think as the as the car was you know driving along vibrating whatever this was getting you know taut with the expansion tank I just every time it would do that for long enough it would uh, it would go ahead and set the code all right so hopefully I did a good job explaining that I, I don't know I'm having trouble with it but um yeah without a smoke machine I I don't I don't know of a way to how you're gonna figure that out um, I mean you could do it with one of the little handheld gauges but you'd have to yeah you know, pull a vacuum on it and wait and watch it and sometimes they leak and uh, I don't know for me just this, do, using a smoke machine it is definitely easier uh, once I saw that little ball dancing around I was like oh something's leaking somewhere right I mean it it should be a sealed system if that's not consistently 0.00, .00 you've got a leak um, and, and albeit a super super small leak which yeah like I said which is why that code I, I think you'd shut the car off and this this thing would you know sit by or calm down and sit where it needs to and you start the car back up the code wouldn't be there <laughs> so <laughs> it was driving me a little nuts um, but yeah so that's that's the OTC smoke machine if if you ever needed a smoke machine that thing I mean it's the shit that Oh, and it's not even all the way up. Oh, wow. It's a, that's about halfway. <laughs> there you go. That's all the way up. That's that's all uh, like the full the full beans, I guess. Yeah, it'll. Yeah, this thing's pretty good. If you ever in the market for a smoke machine. But yeah, that was the that was the cause of our uh, three zero FF. Um, I was able to, you know, before I went and bought this, right, uh, I'd clear the code, I'd start the car, I'd push on this you know, pretty hard, and the code would come back. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't just throw a part at it. I mean, we obviously, this was a, a problem. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was the entire problem. Uh, so what I did was I bypassed this with a T-connector. I just eliminated this out of the system, and I could not get the, the, um, the code to come back. And then I retested it with the smoke machine, and I couldn't get that needle to come off 0.00. .00. So the whole system was completely sealed and full of smoke. Uh, 
and I pulled and squeezed and poked and prodded on every pipe and every everything in that system. Uh, so I was very, very confident at that point to, that this was our issue. And I just got another one from FCP Euro, which, of course, they get it from BMW. So right, that's the, the tag that came with it. Let me see if I can get you guys the part number. Ah, my sticker's all folded over. No, no I broke the sticker. No part number. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, without a smoke machine, I think that'd be done right almost impossible.